Badgers. It is where I'm sitting right now. It is March 21st, 2023. We just got done with our first tournament. We went two and two. Um, some good, some bad, and then we keep rolling along. Don't panic on it. We barely practiced together. We're just getting started, you guys. Um, and we did get to some some form of a championship, so we didn't do all bad at all. Um I want to talk about one thing physically with the swing. Before I get started on that, when you guys are uh, – I want to point this out. When you guys are rolling into a game situation, that is not the time to grind the gears on what exactly I need to do physically. You need to have trust um, in what in the work you put in, uh, the rhythm you have, and the athlete that you are. Uh, when we grind the gears on what exactly – and just trying to be just so perfect that day, it's too late to try to be perfect – uh, it's time to just let our let our game go play. When you grind the gears on it, you lose the athleticism about it, uh, and it kind of zaps the effectiveness from it. So with that said, I do want to talk about one thing for you guys to work on with your swings. If you've been around me long enough, you've, you've heard me talk about coiling into that back hip early. Pitcher breaks their hands. By the time I let go of the ball, I'm in that good coiled position. And I'm going to use Dansby Swanson here. This is when he was on the Braves as an example. And what we want to look at and what we're focused today on is his head. We're looking at does he get coiled in to his back hip? Does he get coiled into his back hip? You bet he does. Look at that. He's flexed in there. He's in a good position, ready to strike. Barrel angle, all that. But let's focus on where his head's at. It is right in the middle of his body. You see the direction where his thigh is? That tells you – um, he's in a good balanced position. What I'm seeing with a good half of us, for example, not to call anybody out, but I think it helps you guys. Um, you know, my two sons, um, Benny Rustler, Nolan Roman, maybe a couple other guys. We're getting our head all the way back here. So now we're off balance. We're almost to the point where we have to stop, rebalance, and then go swing. Eventually, you guys will learn algebra. Um, what you do, there's a two-sided equation. What you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So if I send my head way back here, my balance way back here, now I'm going to overcorrect and wham, I'm going to go be flying at the baseball out of control, I'm losing the power, I'm losing the control, I'm losing the balance. So focus this week, focus maybe for longer than this week. Oil, can you coil into that back hip early and keep your head right in the middle of your body? Yes, there is some natural movement. But when Dansby Swanson coils into that back hip, watch where his head's at. It's right down Broadway in the middle of his body. It's not way back here having to rebalance and then reread the pitch and regenerate the power that way. This will help you get into that coil and not feel like you have to get out of it right away because you're out of balance. Get into that coil. Keep that head right in the middle. Stay balanced. And let's see if that works for you. 